What's up guys, Jason here. In this video, I'm going to be showing you all enchantments and what they do in Minecraft. I will be showing the highest level possible of each enchantment. The higher the level an enchantment is, the more powerful it will be. For example, a sword enchanted with sharpness 5 is more powerful than a sword enchanted with sharpness 1. By the way, I may not show all items that each enchantment can be applied to, however, I will try to show the most commonly used ones. These are all the highest levels of each enchantment in Minecraft. I will be showing each of these enchantments and their uses in this video. By the way, enchantments can be added to items either by using an enchanting table or using an anvil. Sharpness can be applied to any sword except for a sword that has already been enchanted with Smite or Bane of Arthropods. It will make your sword do more damage. Looting can be applied to any sword. It will allow you to get a chance to get more drops whenever you kill a mob. Knockback can be applied to any sword. It will cause mobs to be pushed back further whenever they are hit. Banner of Arthropods can be applied to any sword except for any sword that has already been enchanted with Smite or Sharpness. It will allow you to do more damage to spiders, cave spiders, bees, silverfish, or endermites. Fire Aspect can be applied to any sword. It will cause mobs to catch on fire whenever you hit them. Smite can be applied to any sword except for a sword that is already enchanted with Band of Arthropods or Sharpness. It will cause you to do more damage to undead mobs. A few examples of undead mobs are zombies, skeletons, wither skeletons, withers, or zombie piglins. Power can be applied to bows. It will cause you to do more damage whenever you hit a mob. Punch can be applied to bows. It will cause mobs to be knocked back further whenever you hit them with your bow. Infinity can be applied to any bow except for a bow that has already been enchanted with mending. Having a bow that is enchanted with infinity will allow you to shoot as many arrows as you want as long as you have at least one arrow. Flame can be applied to bows. It will cause mobs to catch on fire whenever you hit them with your bow. Quick charge can be applied to crossbows. It will allow you to draw back your crossbow at a faster rate. Multi-shot can be applied to any crossbow except for a crossbow that has already been enchanted with piercing. It will allow your crossbow to shoot three arrows at a time. Piercing can be applied to any crossbow except for a crossbow that has already been enchanted with multi-shot. It will allow your arrow to travel through multiple mobs at a time. Efficiency can be applied to any shovel, axe, or pickaxe. It will allow it to mine through blocks faster. Fortune can be applied to any pickaxe except for a pickaxe that has already been enchanted with Silk Touch. It will give you the chance to get more ores when mining. Silk Touch can be applied to any pickaxe except for a pickaxe that has already been enchanted with Fortune. It will allow you to obtain certain blocks that you wouldn't normally be able to obtain without Silk Touch. For example, you'll be able to get grass blocks and ore blocks. Luck of the Sea can be added to fishing rods. It will increase your chance of getting treasure items whenever you go fishing. Lure can be applied to fishing rods. It will decrease the amount of time it takes for something to latch onto your rod. Impaling can be applied to any trident. It will cause your trident to do more damage to aquatic mobs. Loyalty can be applied to any trident except for a trident that has already been enchanted with Riptide. It will cause your trident to come back to you whenever it's thrown. Channeling can be applied to any trident except for a trident that has already been enchanted with Riptide. It will cause mobs that are exposed to the open sky when it's thunderstorming that are hit by a trident to be struck by lightning.
Riptide can be applied to any trident except for a trident that has already been enchanted with channeling or loyalty. It will allow it to be launched forward whenever you're in water and throw a trident. It will also cause you to be propelled forward whenever it is raining and you throw a trident while using elytra. Respiration can be applied to any helmet. It will allow you to hold your breath for a longer amount of time underwater. As you guys can see here, my bubbles are going down a lot slower than they would be if I did not have respiration. Aqua Affinity can be applied to any helmet. It will allow you to mine at a faster rate underwater. As you guys can see here, I am able to mine faster than I would be able to if I did not have Aqua Affinity. Depth Strider can be applied to any boots except for boots that have already been enchanted with Frostwalker. Wearing Depth Strider boots will allow you to swim faster underwater. Frostwalker can be applied to any boots except for boots that have already been enchanted with Depth Strider. Frostwalker boots will cause an ice trail to be formed around you whenever you walk on water. As you guys can see here, the ice trail will melt as you walk forward. Soul Speed can be applied to boots. It will allow you to walk at a faster rate whenever you're walking on soul soil or soul sand. As you guys can see here, you will walk much faster. Feather Falling can be applied to any boots. It will reduce the amount of damage you take whenever you fall. Thorns can be applied to any armor. Wearing thorns will cause mobs to take damage whenever they hit you. Blast Protection can be applied to any armor except for armor that has already been enchanted with Protection, Fire Protection, or Projectile Protection. It reduces the damage you take whenever you're hit with an explosion. Protection can be applied to any armor except for armor that has already been enchanted with Projectile Protection, Blast Protection, or Fire Protection. Protection will decrease the amount of damage you take whenever you're hit. Projectile protection can be applied to any armor except for armor that has already been enchanted with protection, fire protection, or blast protection. It will reduce the amount of damage you take from projectiles. Fire protection can be applied to any armor except for any armor that has already been enchanted with protection, projectile protection, or blast protection. It will reduce the amount of damage you take from fire. Mending can be applied to any armor, tool, weapon, or elytra except for a bow that has already been enchanted with infinity. Items that are enchanted with mending can be healed whenever you gain experience. By the way, you need to be holding or wearing those items for them to be repaired. Unbreaking can be applied to any armor, weapon, tool, or elytra. Whenever items that are enchanted with unbreaking are used, they have a chance not to lose durability. Curse of Vanishing can be applied to any armor, weapon, or tool. Any item that is enchanted with the Curse of Vanishing will disappear as soon as a player dies. As you guys can see there, all my items that were enchanted with the Curse of Vanishing are not here. Curse of Binding can be applied to any armor. Curse of Binding items cannot be removed unless you die, the item breaks, or you go into creative mode. I hope you enjoyed seeing all of these Minecraft enchantments. Let me know if you guys have any suggestions for what I should do in future videos. Please like, comment, subscribe, and check out my other Minecraft videos. I upload every other day. Thanks for watching!